hey, good looking. This week, I thought I'd do something a little bit different. So for the last, I think, three months, I've been pumping out design tutorials for you guys from my YouTube studio. Oh, and gently smash the like button. And it's been great fun, but I've also wanted to bring through a little bit more personality into my channel. Really to bring you guys along the journey of like what I'm trying to achieve in my life and maybe some of these stories and experiences that I'm currently trying to go through and currently being challenged with will inspire you guys, but also ultimately you guys can learn some of the things that I go through to really improve yourself and elevate yourself as a creative entrepreneur or designer. So obviously there's still going to be a lot of design tutorials and topics around like freelancing and business from my YouTube studio. Now last week I released a video about how I actually got started as a freelancer in 2016 and had made over $200,000 in my very first year of freelancing. Now the more important thing is there was a comment left by Daniel in the comments and he said love the video but really want to know how do you stay motivated? And funny enough, Daniel is actually one of my full-time employees for one of the businesses that I used to run as well. So out of like all people, he probably does understand like how determined and motivated and sort of like how passionate I am about like the businesses that I run. So funny enough, this question really struck me because I don't ever, I don't think I've ever thought about this, how and why I'm so motivated in life. So. I said to myself, all right, I'm going to take some time and actually think about this question and re and truly deeply try to understand and reverse engineer what about my life or about myself that really keeps me motivated. Now, after some thinking, I realized there's a few different factors and I'm going to go through them one by one. But the last factor is I genuinely feel like is one of the biggest factors. So obviously to stay motivated, I think this is not just for myself, but for everyone, there, there are lots of like short term like doses, like things that you can do that you can control that will sort of inspire you and motivate you in small doses. So you could watch a video like this. You can go to like, a, I don't know, like a Gary Vee conference. Like I haven't been to one, but you can go to one of those conferences. You can read a book. You can talk to friends. You can spark a conversation, go to a meetup. All these things that you go to and you do will spark some sort of motivation and inspiration that will get you sort of going and get you excited and hyped. However, these sort of go up and it goes down right away. Like the, the inspiration and the motivation like just fizzles out really, really quickly. And you're going to have to keep going to attending these things and these activities to stay motivated. So those I actually rarely actually do um, because that is not a sustainable way to live my life and to like run businesses. So when I thought about it, what is it that is an underlying sort of mechanism in my life that continuously keeps me sort of motivated and, and inspired? So when I thought about this deeply, I realized it's actually not even motivation. I, when I think about it, I'm never really motivated um, from day to day. Yes, there will be times when I might feel a big deal or if I'm working on a project and it does really well, I get really excited, but I'm not actually motivated. So what I realized was it's not about motivation. It's about being focused because when you stay focused and you're constantly working on the, on what you want to achieve and you get some sort of success from it or you learn something from it, that's when you get motivated. But if you focus on chasing motivation, you, but you have to realize that ent the entire journey of staying motivated in business or design or whatever it might be is rare moments where you hit the highs and you feel very motivated. So if you're trying to chase motivation, that's actually the wrong way to see it. The way that you should see it is first, define what is it in life that you want to be motivated in, right? So let's say this channel is about design and business. So let's use that for example. But obviously there are so many other things that you can uh, be motivated in. Keeping, maintaining healthy relationships with friends and family. That's one that's not design, uh, design and business related. But for this example, let's say you want to get, stay motivated because you want to do well in life and you want to stay focused in business. Now, first you need to define that. And then you need to understand why you want to do that. Because if the conviction is not strong enough, then you're, it doesn't matter how and what I, I give you, what tips I give you, you're not going to be able to stay focused on it. So you need to truly understand, is it because you see other people that want to get into business and you want to do it? Because that's not a strong conviction. If you deep down say, okay, well, I need to go support my parents um, because they've, they've retired, they're running out of cash and I need to help them survive. That is a strong conviction. And that is one of the main drivers that are, that's rooted deep down in my life 
and in my way of thinking about life is that but one thing that keeps me very motivated is I want to be able to support my parents and I've been supporting them since I was 21. So since I, if you watch any, uh, one of my videos about how I got started, how I made like money on the side, my side hustles, I've been supporting them ever since then and I've never asked for pocket money. And I want to maintain that. So yes, if I didn't have the need to support my parents, I might be a little bit more lazy and I probably would be chilling out and just not working so hard. But I have a bigger purpose beyond my, just my life. I want to be able to support my parents. I also want to be able to support like my future family. I want to be able to support everyone that's close around me. And in the end, sad reality is you need money to support them. So that is one of like the, that is one of the key reasons why I am so motivated and sort of focused on what I want to achieve is because if I don't stay focused, I can't make that happen. So that's the, so the first thing is define what you want to be focused on. Second is why understand truly and deeply why you want to be focused on it because if the reason isn't strong enough, they'll it sort of all goes out the window. So once you know what you want to achieve and you know that the why is very, very strong, then the third thing and the most important thing to stay focused is having networks that allow you to stay focused. In life, we have lots of different groups of networks and friends, right? And depending on who we spend our time with the most, we then sort of become influenced by how our lives should be because that's all we think about. So let's say for this key example, I want to start a business and I want to stay motivated in life because I want to do well, I want to um, bring in money, I want to be financially free, I also want to be able to support my close friends and family, like financially. Well, if you spend, for, this is a very bad example, but if you spend a lot of time with your group of friends who love playing chess, right? I actually love playing chess and I have a close group of friends who like playing chess. So, but if I spend all my time with them and that's all I talk about, different tactics, the best chess moves, the best chess movies and where everything's just about chess, then if I want to stay focused on building a business, then it's going to be very, very hard because my life is so influenced around chess that all I want to do is become the best chess player. So if you want to be, so if you want to stay focused on building businesses and staying focused in your career and your as a designer or making money, well, you need to surround yourself with people who have aligned and the same interest as well. Because when you can turn an idea into a very significant sort of idea, notion or concept in your life, then that becomes very, very important. So for example, I have multiple mastermind groups. I actually run a paid mastermind group called Mizco X, where there's around 40 people. We're all like creative entrepreneurs. We come together, small fee, and we all talk about design. We give each other feedback and we're like a support group. I also have a group of like close friends who are also into business as well. They're also content creators, they're in startups, they run their own business. And, we, and every Friday, we actually catch up. We talk about business and all that good stuff. And also with my family, my father, even though he never had the chance to get into business because he's a Chinese migrant, came to Australia, just had to work three jobs because he just had to make ends meet. He also has the right mindset in terms of entrepreneurship. Like he just never had the opportunity to exercise it, but he does think very creatively and very strategically about business. So I bounce a lot of ideas with him just so he can stay inspired, but then also inspires me to hear different perspectives about it. So when I'm able to surround myself with all these like-minded people, well, I'm starting to really sh craft and shape the way that I perceive my world and my life. So if everyone's talking about business, everyone's talking about growth, everyone's talking about doing things that they love, everyone's talking about uh, exercising their passions and designing and building business and making money and being able to live like a, like a healthy life and be able to pass their wealth onto the next generation and all this good stuff, then that's all I think about. And then that's how I can stay so focused is because that's all I really want in life. I want to be a I want to be able to have a comfortable life. I want to be able to support my friends and family. I want to be doing the things that I love. So that is really the secret to staying focused. And when you're staying focused, you will start to see, you start to get motivated because when you're focused on achieving one goal in life, then you're going to get progression. You're going to get some sort of success, whether it's a financial compensation, whether it's just the feeling, the, the great feeling of progression, or it's just you're attaining what you really want to get, like mentally, you just feel really good about it. Then you start to get motivated because you're starting to get the reward and you're starting to create that reward system with something that you're attached to and extremely passionate about. 
And hopefully for anyone out there that's getting stuck in terms of they're feel, feeling very comfortable, they don't know how to get started, they don't know how to get motivated, the first thing is don't chase motivation because that is just a very temporary, very superficial feeling that, that just fluctuates throughout life. What you want to focus on is creating a system where you first define, okay, what do I even want to get motivated in? Why do I want to get motivated in it? And make sure that the conviction is very, very strong so you can actually push through the hard times. And then, whatever that is, surround yourself with people who have very similar interests or same sort of motivations and ambitions in life so you can actually start to craft and reshape your world and your life and your perspective about everyday living around this specific goal so that's all you think about and when that and when that's all you think about well obviously it's going to become very significant to you in part of your life and you don't need to try so hard to go out of your way to try and make it happen because internally you just want to make it happen because that is what your life is about was this useful i'm keen to hear how you guys stay focused and also motivated in life because maybe i can pull through some of those tips into my life as well and also let me know in the comments below if you enjoy these types of videos where i'm just out and about i'm sort of not in my youtube studio i'm spending a little bit more time answering questions bringing you guys along the journey let me know in the comments below because I would definitely bring more of these into my channel because I personally enjoy this as well because there are so many things that... Oh, and by the way, if there's anything that you want to learn or understand or just hear my perspective, make sure to comment down below because I would definitely respond. And if I think that it's worthwhile to create a video about it, I 100% will and you would definitely get featured on this channel. All right, guys, hope you enjoy this video. I will see you in another one very soon.